Hello Aries how do you do i hope you're all fine so welcome back to yet another vertical video episode so for those who are new to the channel i am cario i make videos on photography and film making techniques tips and tricks and also some social media stuffs so if you are new to the channel do hit that subscribe button down below and also click on the bell icon to get regularly notified whenever i make a video so what's today's video on should you buy a dslr or a mirrorless camera in 2020 so that is the thing we are going to see today we are going to check the difference between a dslr and a mirrorless how do they differ while taking a photo what are their advantages and disadvantages and finally we are going to have a decision whether to buy a mirrorless or a dslr watch this video till the end to have a good decision whether to buy a mirrorless or a dslr so now without wasting any time let's get into the video first let's discuss how a dslr or a mirrorless works So I just have a DSLR camera with me so I'll show you how a DSLR works actually. So you have a lens in the front so when light passes through the lens you have a mirror inside it. I don't know if you would be able to see that. Yeah. You have a mirror inside that. Don't open the camera like this and keep it for a while. So dust to me enter the cam. So so you just have a uh what do you call this? A slanting mirror. inside the camera whenever you see through the optical viewfinder you call this as an optical viewfinder in a dslr and you call that as a electronic viewfinder in a mirrorless camera so whenever you see through the optical viewfinder the light that is passing through this lens falls on the mirror and gets reflected towards a prism at the top you have a prism here and that is directly pass through our eyes so that's how we see the image through this optical viewfinder but how does a mirrorless camera work we don't actually need a mirrorless camera to explain it so what's so special about mirrorless here we have a mirrorless camera you may be thinking i'm kidding right but your mobile phone is actually a mirrorless camera so you have a sensor here which senses the image that you're going to take so you already have a preview of the image that you are going to click in your screen right and when you click you get the exact image of what you already saw right so that is a mirrorless camera that's how a mirrorless camera function just the simple basic behind the smartphone maybe you can call a mirrorless camera as a higher end version of a smartphone right smartphone camera where you have that lens attachment and all so that's how a mirrorless camera works you have a sensor So just imagine to make it clear I have my DSLR as well. So you have a sensor you don't have any mirror or prism or anything like that. You just have a sensor here and you which senses the image that you are actually shooting. It's digitally converts whatever it shoots into electronic signals and you are going to see that through the electronic viewfinder. So in mirrorless camera we have the electronic viewfinder here. So as you see the view in this screen in DSLRs the same screen is made into smaller in size and just imported here so you have an electronic view of whatever you see through the camera in the electronic view finder you can also have the waveforms and all the settings in the electronic view finder so that's a main difference between dslrs and mirrorless cameras so i hope you got to know how a dslr and the mirrorless works now let's get into the advantages and disadvantages and which is more of special so we can just check on those factors okay you just have a dslr in your hand you going to shoot something you kept all the settings ready we just took a photo and you see that oh it's not bad i need to change the settings so you change the settings again you just shoot something again see that oh it's bad i just need to change the settings again so that's one main thing you need to consider in a dslr right but that one is avoided in a mirrorless camera So like the smartphone you can see whatever you take it's just like a preview of the image that's going to be displayed on the screen so that is the advantage of a mirrorless camera so you can just check to the electronic viewfinder make the settings there itself and just go for the click so whatever you see in the electronic viewfinder is actually captured the same 
that's a main advantage of mirrorless cameras. Moving on to the next one, since you don't have these uh, uh, mirrors in the mirrorless cameras, they are actually compact in size and they can be easily handled while these DSLRs are quite big in size like big in size and if you attach the lenses it just it's too much big compared to a mirrorless camera so, so mirrorless cameras are very compact in size and, and one more advantage of a mirrorless camera is you have a good stabilization in all these mirrorless cameras as they have a spring functioning inside the body of the mirrorless cameras so you have comparatively a better stabilization than a DSLR and yes going on to the research and uh, uh, advantages that are to be brought in DSLRs is very less compared to mirrorless because all brands are making big researches on the mirrorless cameras to bring out the maximum out of them. So in terms of R&D wise mirrorless is going to be huge in few years from now and maybe DSLRs are just going away right while on the other hand DSLRs have greater battery life compared to a mirrorless camera so if you're gonna shoot for weddings and all you may need higher battery life you can't just keep on changing the batteries right then you can go for a DSLR as it has a greater battery life and it is also has a good robust body and it's more of weather weatherproof how do you say that it's more of a weatherproof and uh, while these mirrorless cameras are electronic and you need to take care of them very much and also the available lenses for a DSLR is comparatively high than a mirrorless camera so I'll research this on the go and, and you'll have more lenses in mirrorless as well in future so in 2020 are you gonna buy a mirrorless camera or a DSLR camera so this depends on what kind of a photographer you are if you are a beginner photographer, I would not suggest to go with a mirrorless camera because you have a good view of whatever you're gonna capture in a mirrorless camera. So if you are a beginner, you will just change the settings and make the picture right to be captured. But you don't have a good control of uh, what a difference makes whenever you change the aperture or ISO or shutter speed. So I feel like you cannot master much of the exposure triangle that is the ISO aperture and shutter with the mirrorless camera while comparing to a DSLR. So if you are a beginner I will suggest you to at least go for a second hand basic DSLR first. Just master the exposure triangle you just need to have a good control in your camera that just seeing the frame you can just decide what the aperture you need to keep, what the shutter you need to keep, what the ISO you need to keep. So you should not be just playing with all the settings and finally bring out the image. So to understand that you need to learn the basics which is most required and that cannot be done effectively with the mirrorless. You can go for a DSLR where as I said earlier you cannot have the same image that you are capturing in the optical viewfinder. It totally differs. So that helps you to master the exposure triangle and you can learn a lot with the DSLR. So after mastering the exposure triangle with the DSLR, you can go for a mirrorless camera. While if you are already good at exposure triangle, you are fine with all the settings. You can just fix the settings based on the frame you see, then you can directly go for a mirrorless. So this is my suggestion guys. Whether to choose a DSLR or mirrorless depends on how you are, what kind of a photographer you are. You are a beginner or a good experienced photographer. So you decide it yourself. I am not recommending anyone. You decide it yourself. So if you like this video, do hit that like button and also let me know in comments if this video was useful for you. So that's it guys, you can follow me on Instagram at Girish Cario. you can find there many photography ideas that you can do this quarantine by following me on Instagram. So yes, do follow me on Instagram and you can use my hashtag Girish Cario so that we can get connected. So that's it guys, we'll meet you in another video, until then it's your Cario signing off.